Hello friends, this week a new chapter of Baki Rahan was released, and it left us with some interesting moments, so we will analyze them in this video. In the previous chapter, we could see the aftermath of the fight between Jack Hanma and Kosho Shinagi. We saw that Kosho managed to recover from the crushing defeat he suffered at the hands of the biting cyborg. Some were bothered by the fact that Kosho recovered the day after the fight, as if that tremendous beating had not affected him in the slightest. I share that opinion and think that seeing Kosho recover so quickly after the fight took a lot of seriousness away from the arc, since we all thought that fighting against Jack would be something similar to what it meant to fight against Pickle, where you didn't know if you would come out in one piece or several. However, although I would have preferred a more dramatic approach to this arc by Gathagaki, it seems to be just taking shape, so it's likely that in the coming chapters, we'll discover all that Jack Hanma has to offer. This week's chapter begins by showing us Mitsunari's mansion. Apparently, the old man had visitors that day. Once we enter this large mansion, we can see Baki Hanma talking to the old man. Mitsunari starts the conversation by asking the young fighter if he believes he could win in a fight against Jack. Baki pauses for a moment, and while thinking about his answer, he looks up at the ceiling of the place. The silence stretches for a few seconds, as if Baki didn't know what to answer. Mitsunari takes advantage of Baki's pause to light his pipe. After a few moments, Baki decides to answer that question, stating that it's hard to say since we haven't yet seen the full potential of this new Jack. Mitsunari immediately responds that Jack doesn't care what other people think of him. To this man, the only thing that seems to matter is becoming stronger, regardless of the consequences. Baki agrees with that. Jack is truly a warrior who just wanted to be strong and win, regardless of the consequences or what others might say. However, Maki comments that the day Jack defeated Nomi in the underground arena, he looked very happy and was very proud of himself. It was strange because it showed how much he was enjoying his victory. The praises he was receiving from the audience seemed to feed Jack Hanma's soul, as he appeared so happy that not even his serious demeanor could hide his happiness. Those praises and being considered strong are what Jack had always sought. Mitsunari confirms that he had noticed that too. That day, Jack looked genuinely happy. He seemed different since the Jack of the past didn't usually pay attention to the audience's cheers. Baki mentions that all fighters, including his brother Jack, seek a reward for their effort and dedication. This reward translates into recognition and praise from others. However, Baki recognizes that, for both Jack and himself, receiving their father's approval is the most important thing. Baki expresses that they are willing to make any necessary sacrifice to hear words of recognition from their father, but it's not just because he is their father, but because he is the strongest man in the world and the best fighter they have known. Mitsunari adds that he had also sensed Jack's determination after defeating Nomi, but did not imagine that he shared the same feeling with Baki. The old man takes a large puff from his pipe and releases all this smoke while saying that the reason for their behavior is quite simple to them. He states that for both Baki and Jack, what others think of them doesn't matter. They don't care about negative comments because the only thing that matters to them is making their father proud. Mitsunari admits that the resemblance between Jack and Baki is truly impressive. On the next page, the Shin Shin Kai Dojo is shown. Inside is the renowned Dopo Orochi, dressed in his typical martial artist attire, holding a plastic bag in his left hand. Unexpectedly, he tosses the bag into the air, and we observe that behind him is his son Katsumi. Dopo begins to entertain himself with the bag, hitting it to keep it suspended, now alternating the use of his legs. He highlights how simple objects like a shopping bag can become excellent training tools. As he continues to hit the bag, Dopo mentions that hitting a bag poses a greater challenge than the human body due to its lightweight. He uses every part of his body, hands, feet, and head to keep the bag in the air. After a series of strikes, Dopo blows towards the bag, sending it high into the air, and as it begins to fall, he jumps and kicks it with a strong right kick. The bag splits in two as if it were cut by a laser beam. Dopo adopts a combat stance while shouting. These two fighters discuss how, despite how impressive the demonstration may be, in the eyes of Jack, it's truly pointless. Therefore, the young fighter asks his father what they can do then. Dopo answers that they simply must respond with martial arts. That is their path as warriors. As he clenches his right fist, he says that with a good attitude, they can accomplish anything. Katsumi mocks his father, telling him he's a good speaker and could found a church centered on martial arts. Dopo gets a bit annoyed by the comment but takes it in stride. 
Later that same day, we can see the exterior of what appears to be a luxurious hotel. This time, we see that building which was the site of Yujiro and Baki's fight in the Ark of the Last Supper. Here we can see that same restaurant and that same waiter who served Baki and Yujiro on that occasion. But this time, it wasn't Baki who was accompanying him at that restaurant, but Jaihama. Yujiro was dressed in an elegant shirt and was very well groomed. He asks Jack how his eyes were doing. He asked this because Jack was wearing dark glasses in that place, which is unusual because so glasses are worn during the day, not at night. This indicates that he is still in the process of recovering from his eyes and is still suffering the aftereffects of his fight against the cord cutter, Kosho Shinagi. Yujiro tells Jack that he should relax a bit since he has a very stiff expression. At that moment, Jack immediately apologizes to his father while we can see him start to sweat. He was not used to dining with his father and felt very tense sharing a table with the strongest creature on earth. Yujiro tells Jack to relax a bit and to eat something soft from time to time, thus ending this chapter. Well, this chapter gave us Baki's perspective on his brother Jack. It seems Baki isn't very sure he can defeat the biting cyborg, despite having been present at his last two fights. It's as if, even after seeing him in action, he still hasn't been able to decipher what this giant is capable of. It's not that Baki is being humble, he just doesn't have the confidence to make such a claim. It was different when he faced Nomi because, at that time, he was very relaxed and confident that he could beat him in less than 10 seconds. With Jack, it's different because he's a fighter who still has many tricks up his sleeve. I like what Baki said about them, not being interested in receiving praise or criticism from others. The only opinion that matters to them is their father's, Yujiro Hanma. It's not hard to interpret this, Yujiro is the strongest fighter on earth, and no one but him could criticize or praise another fighter. For example, if an office worker criticizes Jack for using biting in a fight, it would have no impact on him, likely because that office worker has never fought in their life and doesn't understand how the fighting world works. On the other hand, if Yujiro had mocked Jack for using biting, it probably would have affected Jack a bit. After all, no one is more qualified than Yujiro to say what's right or wrong in the martial arts world. In this chapter, we also got a glimpse of Dopo's training. While demonstrating his skills, Dopo mentioned that none of these tricks would work against Jack Hanma. It's interesting. I wonder if this could mean that Dopo will be Jack's next opponent. Personally, I would like Dopo to be next in line. He's one of the top fighters and surely could present a better fight to Jack compared to Kosho. Tell me, who would you like to be Jack's next opponent? Do you think Dopo would be an interesting opponent? At the end of the chapter, we saw Jack and Yujiro about to have dinner in that famous hotel where Yujiro had also invited Baki to eat before having the epic father-son fight. Yujiro looks very relaxed and eager to talk. Jack also appears calm, but his face was a bit tense. But that's obvious. It was the first time he was going to have dinner with his father. Remember, Baki was even more excited when he ate with Yujiro for the first time. It seems that dinner is about to start, and in the next chapter, we will finally see an interesting conversation between these two. For now, I found it interesting that Yujiro told Jack he should eat something soft from time to time. What do you think Yujiro meant by those words? It looks like we'll have a new chapter next week, so please stay tuned to this channel to analyze the next episode. For now, don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment box. Let me know your thoughts on this chapter. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.